hello and welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to be talking about how to create your own ai personal assistant do you know that you can create your own ai personal assistant within five minutes and it's going to be an assistant tailored specifically for your needs yes that's true let's go to you.com and in this example we're going to be creating an an ai shopper or a shopping assistant and the reason we are going to use a shopping assistant is because it's particularly useful for me um i tend to forget parts of the items in my shopping list true story i f i always feel like oh i'm I'm going to remember right but when i go to the grocery sh shop i find out that I i've forgotten half of the things i have on my list or maybe i have to go shopping maybe from work right and by the time I get to the to the store, I discover, oh, I don't have my list. It's just somewhere on my fridge, and I couldn't grab it because I didn't plan to go grocery shopping anyway. So, this shopping assistant helps me not have to face that kind of challenge. So, the first thing you do is you build your own. Um, I'm gonna choose GPT-4.0, but there are other models you can choose. Llama 3.1 is totally free, so you can choose that. But let's go with this and let's call this a shopping assistant. So this shopping assistant is super helpful for me because it's it helps me maintain a shopping list. There are many other things you can do with the shopping assistant, but for this video, we're just going to create one that maintains a list for you. But besides maintaining your shopping list, you can get your shopping assistant to place orders for you to find deals and to you know depending on what it sees on the web to make suggestions for you like maybe you have on your list probably you want to buy a crate of eggs you can check around you know all the stores around you and then recommend one that sells it uh at a cheaper price so so it basically does what you want it to do and you're going to get it to do that using this instruction panel but before we get to the instruction panel you can adjust the view assets anyone right me i want anyone but you can make one that's private to you alone and you can enable it to access web but in this case i really don't and that's because i just want something that maintains a list for me but if you have, if you want to make a shopping assistant that finds deals for you, that places orders for you, that makes suggestions for you based on market trend, you might just want to activate the live web access. Uh, yeah, I want to personalize. I want to in include personalization. Okay, so for the instructions, I wrote up one before now. So it says you're a helpful shopping assistant and your job is to. So I basically want this to create and edit my shopping list to categorize it to prioritize items and to share items with my friends if i wanted to and this is how i'm going to initialize it when i say add items to my shopping list or what's on my shopping list is going to respond uh, then suppose now i want to add or remove item i can say remove let's say milk from my shopping list it does that and if there's an item i want to prioritize i can just say hey prioritize uh bread <laughs> a loaf of bread and then it does that so when it prioritizes a loaf of bread it, it basically places it at the top of your list so let's create this is yeah so now we have created our shopping assistant and we can say anything so let's start by asking it to add items to the list hello okay add bread milk some eggs and a phone battery to my shopping list please prioritize some eggs prioritize <laughs> some eggs oh okay here you go so it was able to make the eggs high priority and this is my shopping list let's go one more time i'd want you to remove phone battery 
hey, can you remove phone battery from my shopping list and then add a bottle of water instead? There you go. It has removed phone battery and it has added a bottle of water. So this, okay, so can you show me my shopping list? So here's my shopping list. So we're going to end this video here, guys. Um, you can, at this point, if you're satisfied with what you have, you can just um, probably send, so you can share this. Let me, let me find the share link. You can as well just share this with your friends. So this is it. When you click here, you can share the assistant. So when you click share the assistant, you have a link. You share this assistant with your friends and they can also make use of it for their own personal needs. So we are going to end this video here. I think this is really interesting because you can use this for whatever reasons you want. Now, we are just going to end this video here. I think this is really special and very useful to me. I will see you on the next one.